I thought the girls did a great job holding fort and um, and making the comeback that we did. I was really pleased about that. So what was the difference? What was the switch? We settled down. They did a good job putting the press on early. We were had the jitters. We really settled down and kind of got in a comfort zone. And then we had some kids come off the bench and really did well. It's a day that carries a lot of emotion and meaning for head coach of the Royals, Susan Yao. This is the day six years ago that her big sister, Kay Yao, the legendary women's basketball coach, died of breast cancer. Now at the time, Susan Yao was coaching at Belmont Abbey, and she had a game that day. And she insisted on coaching anyway, saying that that's what Kay would have wanted her to do. So despite her grief, she won the game. She said she did it in Kay's honor, and she said it was one of the most memorable moments of her life. Her big sister Kay, known for her 34 season run at NC State, racked up more than 700 wins during her career, coached the U.S. women's basketball team to an Olympic gold medal, and has been inducted into every single basketball hall of fame. But one of her greatest achievements was forming the Kay Yao Cancer Fund, which raises money for research and grants and provides inspiration to women battling cancer. Coach Yao felt fortunate to have the opportunity to participate in clinical trials and create the fund in hopes of raising money to allow more cancer patients to have access to experimental drugs and to continue the research to find a cure. So far, the KO Cancer Fund has raised almost four million dollars. You can go online and donate right there. There's Play for K events and also at KO.com.